do you have your own backup power is your power source secure from lightning and EMP from solar CME or some man-made event we had something local yesterday at this place that the power went out couldn't get diesel fuel couldn't get gasoline and it was out for several hours first I want to refer Dr. Arthur, Bra Arthur Bradley his channel is EMP Doctor on YouTube he recommends this particular Siemens first surge protector I don't remember the number just go to his channel yeah I don't see it on the label over there it ties in to two breakers here so that if there's a surge it can come back through these breakers through this box and back out through the ground supply inside the box so that hopefully it won't light up all your circuits or even glow hot enough to light up your house and burn it down it's the best thing recommended it's not completely foolproof or proof of everything anyhow yesterday power out had to come shut down the main breaker after of course unsecuring the box don't want people messing with stuff shut all breakers off all breakers these two breakers you see here are off now and they stay off except for during certain necessities which you'll see in a moment as of late last night they finally got connected to this here set of cables the reason they're connected to that set of cables i apologize for not remember the cable side that's the minimum requirement in order to run 50 amps to that breaker or 50 amps out of that breaker so that right there is a duramax hybrid generator i had to put it on an old slate deal because the grass and then even a mud flap dumped a bunch of water on the ground because the heat coming off of its muffler because if it was going to run a long time obviously it's going to get real hot and thankfully it's pretty well set up so it blows straight out from the muffler it's got a screen the muffler is a spark arrester then it's also got a screen as a spark arrester the handles were left up in the air so that they wouldn't get all hot in case I had to move it okay air filter pull start instructions for propane instructions for gasoline I like to leave that on top it's completely empty not a drop of gas in it remember couldn't get gas or diesel truck stops had no fuel okay this is the propane inlet as it tells you it's got instructions over here too these generators have gone up to a minimum of about twelve hundred dollars but that knocks the socks off of a minimum of six to ten thousand dollars for a stationary uh what do you call them uh generac with an onan engine those are great and you can have it fully set up this is a propane line i'm gonna have to replace and get a more appropriate valve something was a little peculiar with that one there i, I had to get it all cleaned out and re-clean the line make sure appropriate stuff is used I do not recommend doing these things the way that I did them in order to keep from losing my food or from getting someone excessively sick from too much heat or something or 
illness or anything like that. So, about the time we finally came to secure it, power came on, but anyway, we got propane on there. This one also has an electric start. We got either gasoline or propane here. It's all the way to set the propane. Okay. Main circuit breaker must be off when you start any generator. Do not have any load on it. I would normally unplug that, but I want to get this all shut down and put away and secure it again. It's also kind of warm and I'm still thirsty. I just refilled the jug a moment ago. Anyhow, got 240 volt at 50 amp, 240 volt at 30 amp, which I'll have to uh, set up a plug on a cord to be able to reach the pressure switch for the water well. Even though we had electricity for a couple things to keep our food from spoiling here in this location, there was no running water. Then you got 120 volt, 30 amp. That can be set up with an adapter for your regular RVs that use 30 amps. Your bigger RVs are 240 volt, 50 amp, maybe 30 amp, I doubt it. And then a couple 20 amp or 15 amp. They got the multiple type different plugs there for your regular 110, 120 uh, devices. Engine start, listen to this. Gonna be loud. control switch after it's been running a few minutes you can turn it on so it'll idle down when it doesn't have a load it only idles down slightly and then of course be able to turn your breaker on then individually turn on that 50 amp breaker connected to this cord so that it would power the box while the 100 amp service is absolutely completely shut off disconnected in case it would come back on and then one at a time only necessity breakers if you have something that runs off of 100 amps obviously you can't provide 100 amps off a 50 amp generator so you will burn it up you can't do that you're going to have to pick what's necessity and use only that and use it as little as possible figure out what's priority got to make sure and turn the battery switch back off so it doesn't keep battery and thankfully the little tiny battery down there like a motorcycle battery will work uh, still works even though it has been uh, connected for a long time and that's because this was uh, turned off and everything and it was in storage out of the weather it does have to have a ground I connected to existing ground that was here if I carry it to use it on a truck or trailer I'm gonna carry this cord here and I'm gonna carry at least a 
like a foot, foot and a half long copper grounding rod to connect this to and knock it in the ground and have something to pull it back out of the ground like a big vice grip and a, a crowbar. Anyway, try to make sure you can do what you can do to take care of yourself. Ouch. And I'll try to put the link or a couple of links for these things when I finally load this video. I've got more work to do. Somebody's been contacting me to get busy and use that boom, and I haven't even had a bite to eat this afternoon. So look out for yourselves and your neighbors. Take care. And uh, what's it say? Yeah. Don't be a fool. Stay safe. And don't use extension cords running through windows if you can help it. Make sure you use at least 12 gauge and only 25 foot so they don't go overheat and catch on fire when you don't know it. Take care.